the harmful impacts of social media and seven tips to reverse them. When it comes to social media, there are ways that we can benefit, but there are also ways that it can negatively impact us. Here are seven ways that you can start protecting yourself from the bad parts of social media. Number one, Pay attention to how your devices affect your daily life. It's hard to tell if you're one of those people who has become officially addicted to technology. We see people every day who have their eyes glued to their screens without a care in the world. But it's difficult to admit it when you fit in the same category of people. If you're having trouble deciding if your online activities affects your reality, ask someone about your behavior when you're involved with social media. For example, do I affect you when I'm on my phone a lot? Do I act differently around people when I spend more time on social media? It's important to take their answers seriously and be willing to accept the truth. Otherwise, you'll never be able to see if social media is taking its toll on you. Number two, Focus on how you act and feel with versus without social media. Getting sucked into the world of the internet can cause us to lose track of what's really important. If looking back at your life before you join social media, you see changes in yourself, you should ask yourself some of these questions. How do you feel when you're online? Was your life better before or after social media? Keep in mind that there is no reason to feel ashamed if you're addicted to social media. Lots of people from all around the world suffer from it, normally not even knowing it. Get ahead by making yourself aware. Number three, take a break. When you're constantly picking up your phone, it may be a sign that you should be doing the opposite. When you feel the urge to pick up your phone, don't. See how you feel when you keep it out of your hand for a while and instead do something else or do nothing at all. Either way, this will help you become aware of if you feel anxious or miserable without your device. Number four, write, don't post. When you feel that impulse to post on your page, pick up a pen and paper instead. Try writing about what you wanted to post. When you do this, you don't have to worry about pleasing others with what you have to share. It's just you and your words. Number five, ditch the music. Music can be therapeutic, sure, but when you give your headphones a break during your daily commute, you're gaining time to embrace and clear your own thoughts instead of tuning them out with sound. This will help you establish a healthy relationship between you and your mind instead of neglecting it by putting it as a second priority. Number 6. Put the technology away for the weekend. Plan a camping trip or a night out with friends for the weekend and leave all devices at home. By doing this, you're reconnecting yourself with your real life and the people around you once again. You're also regaining lost bonds caused by social media. This will help you decide where you're happier, FaceTime or face-to-face. -face. Number 7. Make a plan that is beneficial to you. Is it an unhealthy habit for you to be using social media every day? If you feel like it is, ask yourself these things to help you heal from the harm your device has caused you. Should you be limiting your time online? Should you completely remove social media from your life? If you do quit social media, even if just for a short amount of time, there is one last trick to help you follow through with it. Inform the people who will be affected by your decision of what you plan on doing. Once you get the information out in the open, it will be harder to back out. And those are the harmful impacts of social media and seven tips to reverse them. Tell me how social media has impacted your life in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on similar videos. Hit the notification button so that you can be notified every time we post a video.